It was 60 years ago. That was when Godzilla first appeared. A 50 meter tall kaiju that laid ruin to a city center. Godzilla may not have been fast on his feet, but the threat he posed to mankind was undeniable. We know that Godzilla's claws and his powerful tail constitute his primary means of attack. We also have it on record that he used his oversized upper body to charge at his target. He also lets loose atomic breath, a blast attack from his mouth which can turn a town into a sea of fire in seconds. This is all the biological data we currently have on record. But we know very little about how or why he possesses such unimaginable powers. At the time, Godzilla returned to the sea at the dear cost of Professor Sarazawa's life. So many paid the ultimate sacrifice back then. But humanity gained two valuable things as a result. The first is G-Energy. As a result of our studies, we discovered the very essence of Godzilla's life force and turned it into a powerful fuel for humanity. Now, without G-Energy, our civilization would fall apart within a very short span of time. The second is G-Force. If the worst should happen and Godzilla or anything of equal threat to mankind should ever appear again, G-Force is there to remove the threat. And that's where you come in, ma'am. As far as the public knows, G-Force is merely a response unit created to handle disasters. If you learn anything, you'll contact me immediately, correct? So now, after 60 years, there are signs that Godzilla has returned. 
I'll give you the short explanation, ma'am. Should Godzilla ever appear again, we will need you and the cabinet to set the disaster level. We at G-Force will then respond accordingly. So I'm ultimately responsible for our strategy to Godzilla. I will not hesitate to act, soldier, although it may very well cost me my political career. We're picking up a strong signal. It's heading to the surface. Is this Godzilla? We cannot determine whether it is the same Godzilla as in our records. What does Godzilla want? Oh no. Not the generator. It must be the G-Energy generator. It's the only explanation as to why he chose to come ashore in this area. We discovered G-Energy because of him, but it turns out the stuff is his favorite meal. Maybe Godzilla holds a grudge. After all, the reason he was born in the first place was... Uh, uh, forgive me. I spoke out of turn. It's fine. We need to consider all lines of thinking here. We are going to disaster level one. We must protect our country. Moving to commence level one response, ma'am.
Godzilla has reached Zone 3. is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. It'll be destroyed if we don't do something. The generator's defensive measures are operating at optimum levels. have hit zero. Godzilla is far larger than when he came ashore, ma'am. It must be the purity of the matter he absorbed. It's accelerating his growth. You were right. He came ashore in search of food. Incredible. But I doubt it'll be enough to satisfy 60 years of hibernation. I wish we knew what Godzilla was thinking right now. Do you think he will search for another food source? And I have to worry about the people's doubts. I hope they don't call for my head. There's no one else in politics who's equipped to handle such difficult decisions. Where is Godzilla heading? 